Where does he live? Uh, he passed away in, I believe, 2002. He lived somewhere in Owasso, um, as I recall. Okay. Now, I was raised by my sister. However, when I did my ancestry DNA, and I'm not a Lipsonsky, hmm. so I did the digging, and when I confronted the people that I was raised with, they said, oh, now you know. I said, okay, so who's Mark Lipsonsky? Who knows? At least as far as I know. I know he was born I have a birth certificate, but whether the but the dates on that birth certificate span 1969 to 1972. So I was born no earlier than 1969 and no later than 1972 when two cousins from my family, genetic family, signed off on those State of Michigan documents. I don't know if that document is a death certificate for Mark Slotomsky or not. But, I've been using that name to go to school, get an education, hold a job, but it's not me, and everyone in this county knows it. Because when my mother died, that's when it became public knowledge to everyone except for me. Okay. So, is my name Mark David Lutonsky? No. My name is Edgar Thomas Hill. So you're Edgar... Thomas Hill. Latonsky claims this isn't his real name. While this may or may not be true, he also believes himself to be royalty, which certainly isn't. And that name is a family name because my grandfather, my great grandfather, and my great great grandfather. Okay. So, what's your date of birth? I don't know. Okay. What is the name that you prefer to be called? Well, when I started to realize that that was a stolen identity, one, I stopped voting. Two, I'd been trying to get rid of it for a long time because that name is a name of a bunch of people that I have absolutely no relationship to. So, the name that I go by is Olvikos. How do you spell it? O-L-Y-K-O-S. Okay. And, um, that, that's at least a, a, a common name that, that I use. Um, but, only because I, I've never really used any of those other names. Um, and when I hear the name Mark Lepunsky, I know that somebody's talking garbage. It's not real. Okay, I'll leave those. Oh. All right. You were brought down here, obviously, well, when the, when the police came to your house, they put you in the handcuffs, and then, sure. you, were, and then you were driven down here. Yes. And I want to talk to you. But because, oh, but before I can do so, because you're in handcuffs and you're brought down here, I need to advise you of your Miranda rights. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to read you your Miranda rights from the form. Once we get through those, then we'll talk to you about what's going on. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the first thing is you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you before or during questioning. If you want a lawyer but cannot afford one, one will be appointed to represent you at public expense. If you waive the right to remain silent and later will stop answering questions, the questions will stop. And if you waive the right to have a lawyer present and later change your mind, the question will stop until you have talked to the lawyer. 
Holy Ghost, do you understand each of the rites I've explained to you? Uh, I understand them. Okay. Is that a yes? Yes. Okay. And are you willing to give up these rights and answer my questions at this time? Basically, I want to talk to you about what's going on. I'm perfectly happy to talk, yes. to offend you in any way, so why don't you appear, uh, sign your name and date of birth, and all that says is that you understand your rights, that's all it's saying, so I don't want you to get upset at it. Let me see, if, uh, and, and, and I guess, the question is, what name do you want? Whatever name you want to go by. You mean for this interview? Correct. Okay, fine. Uh, your full name, uh, I will use this one. There we go. And then the date of birth that uh, I use. Unknown. That's the best of my knowledge of, of when that was. Okay, so you sign, is that Wilk, W-I-L-K? That's Wilk. Wilk Olikos Lopez. Okay. All right. So... Latunsky has settled on a name to use for the interview, and after being read his rights, the important questions will begin. I was seeing uh, police came to your house. They were doing a welfare yeah. check. They were doing a welfare check? Right. Um, they were looking for the person... Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I, I understand based on what you're claiming, sure. Yeah, so, so that's basically how the police came and contacted you. But before I go into that, um, what do you do? You said you mentioned you work. What do you do for a living? Well, right now I'm doing construction. What I have done for a living is had my trust funds raided by people who were pretending to employ me and giving me back my own money. That was my employment up until February of this year. Okay. That ran through two companies. The first one was Flint Inc. No complaints about them on my part. They acted very honorably. But when they realized how deep they were in, they sold the business, got the hell out of Dodge, and and passed it off to the international bankers. Okay. Um, American Chemical got in a little bit deeper because they decided to send a member of the family to New York and sit down with the New York bankers so that they knew the extent and breadth of the trust funds that they were being paid by. Um, so I don't know the details of that. What did you do for Flint Inc? For Flint Inc, uh, I worked as a bench chemist. Okay, so is that a tattoo place, or is that? No, I, I don't. I don't know what Flint Inc. Uh, Flint Inc. Look, so printing inks. The manufacturer of the inks that go on everything from newspapers to okay. um, to what uh, packaging or or anything else that's printed. Okay. Uh, I mean, they got into digital printing, but they spun it off. Of, but ink, ink, I N K. Gotcha. Uh, but not tattoo place. No. Okay. And then what? What did you do for American Chemical? Uh, I have no idea what I was actually doing. They, they, the stuff that they had me just signing off on ended up being just garbage. I was a quality manager for a company whose business model was to have no quality. So I was pretty much a lie detector. If we can fool this guy, man, we're scot free. We can get away with anything. Okay. Um, so, so that is is the extent. Uh, you know, did I ever really? Stop anything? No. I would tell them, this is what I'm finding, and they just do it and 
some other way where I couldn't see it. How long did you work at American Chemical? Oh, I worked there for 12 years, uh, r roughly. It was about 12 and 12. Um, I, I'm, I'm rounding because it was 2007 to 2019. Yeah, so, yeah about 12 years. Mm -hmm. And then how long did you work at Flint Inc? Like what, what years did you work yeah, there? That, that was 90, um, well 1996 to 2007. So okay. 11, you know, like I said, rounding, it was about 12 and 12. Okay. I mean, it's well past the 10. But okay. So when you're not working, what do you do? Well, right now I, I'm just doing construction, uh, uh, working on, on building the house. Uh, picking up odd jobs, uh, you know, and, and this was the thing. Be when I realized that I was paying myself out of these trust funds, mm -hmm. and that the money by, as I got contacted by the New York bankers, I don't know what happened, why they contacted me directly, but something must have happened, and uh, they well, they I learned a little bit about how the money was being pulled out of the trust fund, and how money could be pulled out of the trust fund to do things other than what it was supposed to be. Now, other people who have things like this, they look at them and they say. Okay, so it's a, and they gave a name for it. Um, a, it was either a show or a no-show trust. And it's like, okay, so you had a show trust. Fine. Um, but uh, with that going on, I looked at it and I said, well, wait a minute. If there's been bad stuff going on in the background, well, let's put the brakes on this shit. Because what they, the, in any case, it's, it's financial stuff. It, it's still, so, so in the spare time, you do financial stuff? Well, I, 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 I work on financial The description of Latinsky's job history shows that he is prone to rambling. This may eventually be useful in getting him to reveal more information. But there is also the possibility that they will have to actively keep him on track. The stuff I have, a, uh, a banker, uh, a, he's my New York investor that I work with. Um, I have a second one who is, who is here in Michigan, um, and, and then in my spare time I'm doing construction, but because I was looking for honest work, uh, you know, I started trying to pick up odd jobs where I would do something. Uh, put up someone's drywall, no go. Um, and, and so finally, I, you know, using the, the name uh, Vilk Olikos Vilkas, I put an ad on, on Rentman, and man, if I can give a massage and somebody's going to pay me, that's more honest money than what I was doing at American Chemical. What they were doing was downright disgusting things that nobody should do. And I look at them, you know, if a man's going to pay me to rub him down, Fine. So how long have you been doing that? Oh, was probably the well, I started it in about April of this year. So like massages? Uh, just massages. Yeah, you know, it's like you know what? I'll spend time with you. You know, man can't guarantee sex. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. So hey, guess what? I can't sell that because. That does, that's not the way the world works. <clears throat> but you want to spend your time with me? Boom. Here's your price. And and, and I'll have a good time with it. And how much and is, well. so when you say here's your price, that's how much you would charge? Yeah. Uh, Two hundred dollars an hour, uh, fifteen hundred dollars a day. And if you look at it and you say, you know, you, you want to dicker a deal on it? Guess what? I'm not doing this because I want to. I'm doing it for honest money. Mm -hmm. Pulling my own money out of a trust fund is not honest money. Yeah. Right? right. I mean, that, that's, that's stupid. Okay. The fact is, is that my mother passed away on the very day that I 
would have come of age by our culture and I would have had to have been told that she was my mother and that I wasn't just, gee, this little kid. I was her son and had this trust fund. Now I talk to people and I say, what are the chances that the very person who held the trust in guardianship, who was required to tell me, passes away on the very day that she would have had to have done that. So when you said come of age, what did you mean come of age? It was my 12th birthday. And, and you said come of age for your culture. So yeah, I don't understand. I, I, I'm, I'm Norwegian. Okay, so you're Norwegian. I'm, I'm, I'm Norwegian. So what is, explain to me then what coming of age for Norwegian well, means, because I don't, I don't know. Four multi-generational trust funds that would have been set up who knows when? Things that that I don't control the conditions of any more than my mother controlled the conditions of them. Which is why the people in New York, the families in New York that I've been in touch with here and there all know more details than I do because they know much more. All I know is that I'm sitting here as the only living Thomas of Wales that I've been able to find. And so, you're, so you're a Thomas of Wales? I, when I am a Thomas of Wales and I reached out to the people in Great Britain to find out if there are any more. Okay. Because... Latunsky's belief and obsession that he is royalty and people have kept it a secret from him is consistent with his diagnosis of schizophrenia. As I have looked amongst my blood relatives, I don't think there are any other okay. Thomas of Wales of the Thomas of Wales clan left except for me. Okay. So, to what extent that makes one iota of difference to why we're talking, I don't know. It's not like I have a whole bunch of people that I can go up to and say, okay, beyond what these people here in Shiawassee know, what gives? Some of them will give me some details, and some people just clam up. But, at this point, you look at it and you say, come on, get out of the bag. And that's, that's when the people that I grew up with said, okay, fine, you know, that, that's it. That's, that's all you're going to tell us? Yeah, that's all we're going to tell you. See ya. It's like, you know what, if you're saying see ya, so am I. Why am I Mark David Lotonsky? I'm not. And you knew it, and I knew it, but having that stolen identity kept me alive when all of the rest of my family is not. And that is what the New York banker finally said. Bingo. So, if that's what my mother had to do to keep me alive, she was a very smart woman because it didn't keep her alive. So when you started doing um, the rub down of these men, um, that kind of leads me into, I guess, what is going on with the, you know, why we're here, why, you know, there's a welfare check that, um, you, you, let, you let the troopers go in and immigration sure. to search your house and they see a man that... Who is that man? Well, who, uh, and, and, and again, when you talk to those, you know, on those sites, you can get any name or no name. What sites did you, did you meet him on? Um, 
gosh, I, I, I would have, I think that one was grinder. Okay. But, no matter, um, we, we chatted for a while, he described the things that he wanted, uh, I did what I could to the initial contact between Latunsky and his victim is brought up, and Latunsky claims that they discussed what Bacon wanted to happen when they met. He gives all the appearances of being sincere, but that means nothing for someone who speaks with the same conviction when they say they are a member of a royal family. Bring those things about, and after we sat and made an agreement about what was going to happen, we made the agreement, and he was supposed to disappear, be gone. Um, he had but you know as well as I do that in our society, although we say, you know, a man can just go. Does our society really allow that? No. And what it leaves behind is all kinds of, of I, I'm going to say, things for his family mm -hmm. that a man doesn't want to leave. Now, the things that I set up for him and plan to do for him in that regard would do something for his family that would make it easier. But that agreement between him and I really shouldn't have anything to do with anything but him or I. So what was the agreement? In total? Uh, one, that I would, well, and I started to do that.
of the key homes along the north side of I-69 are also all owned by my family. My father's family. So, knowing and having different neighbors tell me that there are more properties that are on things like 99 and 100 year leases. One of the things that I said was, you know what? When these leases come due, where does your family live? He says, south of I-69. I says, they don't want to be there. The line of chaos and non-chaos is I-69. Population to the south, the low population to the north. I said, so if you're south of I-69, when they turn that line into a border of defense, then your family's on the wrong side. You want to have your family on the north side of I-69. You want your family to have food supplies on the north side of I-69. I said, if I can bust open this trust and I get the ability to talk to the New York bankers, then why not? So how did it to you? So the man in the basement, how did, when did he come to your house? I picked him up. Uh, we met physically met um, in Swartz Creek and that was when I you know because I, he had given me details of what he wanted and so I said well, I'll tell you what I will bring all of the things that you would need so that you can see them I, says, I will lay them out in front of you I said then I'll step back. I says, you need to decide. You need to decide because I'm not going to force you. Even the detectives are confused about how the supposed trust fund comes into play. Lisinski attempts to explain that he was going to do something for the family of the victim, but what that is, he never really makes it clear. Okay, so you meet him in Sports Creek? I met him in Sports Creek. On what day do you well, that would be the uh, 24th. Okay, and, and 1224, Christmas yeah. Eve. Okay. It was Christmas Eve. And then... Um, was that the first time that you ever met him in person? That was the first time I'd ever met him. I, I, had, I had chatted with him, so I had a tremendous amount of detail of, of what he was looking for. Mm -hmm. Only what he was looking for. And... What? You were trying to help him. Well, the system. in that regard, I took all of everything that I had to, to set it up, and I put it into a bag, I laid it out in the trunk, so that it was there in the back of the van. And then I got in the front end, and I said, you decide. And at that point, he says, I make my decision. I says, I says, well, I said, take and, you know, put on put on the different gear that you wanted, uh, that he'd selected, he'd take a thumb and said, no, not this, this one, you know, he, he picked it all up, he wanted to make sure that he was comfortable, mm -hmm. and that he was...
whatever we blabbered about. And, and I say blabbered just because I said, you know what, you say whatever you want to say. And he says, okay, now that I've said it, I, I'm going to turn my phone off. Okay. That was all. That was all at the parking lot. That was, that was all still in the parking lot. Okay. Do you know what store was the parking lot? No, no, it was, it, it was in the parking lot there on Grand River and or not Grand River, uh, Miller Road in um, in Swartz Creek. Okay. And I said, if you're ready, I said, if, if you're doing this, then you put the stuff on, and 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 then. Uh, so I, I sat in the front uh, while he did all of that. So and you in the front of your vehicle? I was in the front of, of my vehicle. What kind of vehicle do you have? Uh, it's a van. Um, it's a um, Hyundai Santa Fe. Okay, great. All right. So I sat in the front, and he went in the back. He got all ready. And I said, look, you know, this way, you're leaving everything behind, and it's like done. And um, then uh, at, at that point, he says, "Okay, I'm ready." I went around, and I, I shut the trunk, and um, and then I put, you know, he he, he gave me the the key um, so that I could lock the car. I put his bag in the back. I locked the car. You locked his vehicle? I locked his vehicle. So his stuff is in his vehicle? His stuff was in his and vehicle. Then the, and then does, he in the, does he stay in the back of your van? And he stayed in the back of my van. Okay, and then you leave, then you leave the parking lot. And then I left the parking lot. Okay. And then we, we went back to the house. Do you remember, do you know what you did with the keys for the car? Um... The keys were <sighs> see he had the keys at first. He gave them to me. Um I don't know. Just just the minor details I'm curious. I I don't know. Not at all. But uh in, in any case, we went back to the house. It seems odd that he had Bacon change his clothes in the van if they were only going to be going to the house anyway. But the process seems perfectly logical to Latinsky. I went, went through the... able to, look, you have to look at this and say, you know, one, because involving lots, you know, lots of different people, it, 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 it then gets a little precarious. Um, but in any case, you know, going through all of that and, and, and working through it, it was finally, you know, at, at the, I'm going to say, end of the evening or the beginning of the next morning. It was it was that that time frame that finally uh, you know and, and, and we've talked about, you know, several several things. You know, what was I going to do? Um, and part of it was the process of turning, you know, that what for Turning them into something that would grow tulips for his family. He says, but my family will never know that it's me. I says, no. Tulips are starvation food. They'll know that they'll have tulips. They'll know that... Do they... You, do you 
you want them to know that that's something that you're giving them? And he says, no, it's not something that I want them to know. Is any of this something that you want them to know? And he says, no, it's not something that I want them to know. I says, so if we can just make this happen, then he says, he says, knowing at least 
the, the bits and pieces of, of the conversations that we've had over over periods of time. Um, and uh, what does the knife look like? Uh, what's it look like? Yeah, so is it like a kitchen knife? Is it a, is it, is it, you know what I'm saying? No, it, 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 it's just a hunter's knife. It's a hunter's knife. What color is it? Um, it has a black blade. Um, it, it, I mean, I, had, I had actually, you know, uh, it, 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 it is, um, it has a black and gray handle. Okay. Um, is, it a, is it a fixed blade? Fixed. It's so it doesn't fixed. move? It's not no. Lutonsky describes killing bacon as if he is talking about an interesting yet messy science project. There is no attempt to hide his actions and every indication that he thinks this was a perfectly normal thing to do. I'm picturing something like, uh, you remember the movie Rambo? You ever see Rambo? Or uh, it, it, it's it, about it, that big with it, a it, handle and a big blade. It, the, the blade is only about that long. Oh, okay. Is it serrated or smooth? Smooth. It, it, it was smooth blade. And it's in your bedroom. It's in my bedroom. In a dresser drawer. In a dresser. And, and, and I think it's, it, it's there, yes.
nobody's got to come in and right. steal anything. Right. So I, I understand. So then you drive to your house. You get back. You yeah. You get back to the house, and you guys go inside. When you get home to the house, is it just you two? It's just us two. Okay. So when this, instead of being Some information has been censored from the video, so it's a little hard to tell exactly what Latinsky did at this time. There still doesn't seem to be an understandable motive for the murder. What portion? He says, you know what? You, you really made me... It was after, uh, after he was deceased that the I, I 
need to make sure that, that this is quick and not drawn out. Yeah. And so with then that it's like, okay, let's get let and, and I let's get this so that so that he, 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 he it, it was it was I was trying to speed it up at that point because he was already unconscious. Okay. And but I could tell, you know, because yeah, I mean, you could tell he was, he was, I, in any case, it, it was, it was the realization of this wasn't enough, and, and that, that was when, you know, I, I hoisted and got all of that set up and, and had to apply I had actually, you know, I was using that, and it, it, the, the weight had broken. Once it was, but once he was clearly deceased, then just like, okay, let's get him up as much as I sure. could, so that. It, so that one the the what what blood there was that was in the sand could go out into the flower bed. Sure. And um and, and that way Tunsky walks the detectives through Bacon's final moments. And they try to gain insight into his thought process. Latunsky doesn't seem to have any anger toward Bacon or any standard motive to kill, such as revenge, love or financial gain. I could take care of the rest. Okay, so um, you guys are down there. And where you keep saying. Here. So, so you're yeah. pointing here. Okay, so you're pointing right at the hairline. When you do this, is he on the ground? There was a chair down there. Was he sitting in the oh, chair? No, the, the, the chair was not in there at the time. I, I put the chair in after when I was trying to get... to take the um the the horse chestnut or not the horse chestnut the chestnuts and and plunk them in on the same way so that so that they would be growing now and, and go through some you know some of that look we're gonna we're gonna make sure that this this becomes something that's that, that's up and you know we, we, in, in any case um so it was it was it was the after portion of cleaning him up. What I didn't get to yet was to wash him up, clean him up. And, you know, I, I started to pull the sand out that, that was there to, to start to clean it up. But, you know, it was a matter of it takes a little bit of time to, you know, depending if you ever process the deer. Sure. It, it, it's what it, what the blood drain out. Know, it, it's, it, it's, it's the same it's the same process, and, and it's just a matter of saying, how how do you do it? Okay, so, yeah. so the first one right here, you realize he's still alive. Mm -hmm. And that, and, 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 and once you do that, that was when I just reached down, because he is, he is laying, uh, you know, and, 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 and... Is he face down or face up? He is. Well, he, he actually, uh, when, when... He, well, when we were talking, you know, we were just laying on the ground side by side, and and you know he was he was face up. And then when he, when after we talked about all of the different options of how do we do this, how? Yeah, that was when he. And that was and that's where so 
he was, I'm going to say, on a stomach, okay. face towards the east. Okay. And that was his head down by like the dirt area? With, it, with his head facing that east wall. No, I know, but I mean, like, if, if this is the head of his body, this is his feet. He was on the wood. He was on the wood. He was, like, is this the area where that dirt is at? Yeah, there's, dirt. yeah there's, there's, there's the dirt area. Yeah. So he's like that. Right. Of the right. Because. Uh, you want to, no, 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 no. want to draw a picture? Maybe that would be I'm not sure. I'll just pull this paper off. That way we have a much better idea of what you're yeah. talking about. Because you've, you've got a rectangular room. Okay. You've got the door here with the St. Andrew's cross on it. Okay, um, and and so and then the the end of the area is here, so it's dirt dirt here, and he was laying this way with his head here, and his he was facing that direction. Where's the door that you walked into the room? The door okay. Is here. Okay, that's what I thought. And and so you know he was laying here. And I was here okay. at the point that um, that we did it, and then in order to get him Here he was already dead. So he died here. Getting it up yes. um, and, and had to pull off the, the sling that was, and that's the, the chains that are hanging on each side. Right. That's the sling and, and where, where that all, all was. Um, and so it was there. Then, then it was. It Did was you do this by yourself? You didn't have help. I did it all by myself, and that's that's why he was. A getting, getting, getting him, basically. What do you remember? What day that was? Because you said that you met initially on the twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. So, when did this part all take place? It was... Was it the it, same night or the next day? Or? It, well, Christmas it, was Wednesday. It, it, well... So the 25th it, was on Wednesday. It would have been during... I mean, it was during that evening. And um, and and then after... Uh, after he was... In, in, I don't know. It's just flat out fact. Um, is that... After he was dead. When asked to describe the room, Latunsky is more than willing to draw them a layout of the scene. There's no hesitance on his part to give them answers, no matter how gruesome they might be. And it was then that I started to do what I told him I was going to do. I was going to eat part of him. Mm. And I did. Uh, it was the new moon. Um, and, and and honoring my word to what I thought I would do, uh, that was when I and you know that that was you know just just part um, you know I. I, I look at it and I say, if that's was that his was that his wishes? Is that the main reason why you did it? It was it was it was it was it was the discussion, you know, like wherever, you know, whatever is consumable is consumable. So I I I, I, says, I, I will eat you, you know, and and he says, okay, hmm. okay. So this 
happened sometime the night of the 24th into the 25th? It was, it was the night of the 24th into the 25th. Okay. Yeah. So then when, at what point, how long after that did you take those upstairs? That was, um, I mean, it, it was before I went to bed. Um, because at that point, um, you know, I mean, I, I stayed with them for quite a while. I mean, and that was, that, that was very important. And, and I says, you will not die alone. I says, I, I won't. You die. know, that, to me, as an outsider looking in, that shows me the type of person you are. I, I, I says, I won't do that. I, oh, absolutely. I says, You're a man of your word. Regardless of what it is, I, I won't let you die alone. Yeah. And, and that's very stand up of you. I mean, yeah. I, well, not a lot of people would do that. It it, it wasn't it wasn't easy. Right. And no, but um, you're, you know, you're like I said, there, well, um, it, I've met so many people, and 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 even the guy that I spent. Uh, Christmas with, because I, I went over and, and spent Christmas with uh, a guy from Lansing, a guy from, um, gosh, where is he from? I think the Bay City area, and then uh, in, in Flint, and, um, and, and we laid down, and he was a health care worker who worked in nursing homes. And, you know, he, he, Joel joined us because he didn't have anyone to spend Christmas with. And who's us? Uh, 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 you know, not at your house? Not, not, not at my house. Uh, I had actually gone because, because the water went bad in my house mm -hmm. and some other things happened. I call him his, his legal name, um, but when, when a bunch of stuff started happening that made the living conditions there not very good and he couldn't stay out of the water, I, the water was flowing arsenic. Mm. I said, you can't drink the water. We took the water to a doctor. The doctor says, don't even bathe in it. He says, I have to go to work. I have to bathe in this stuff. And so when he started to get sick, I took him to the doctor. I showed him the stuff that was going on. And then I helped him get a, an apartment of his own so that he wasn't in that mess while, while I was trying to get it fixed back up and and make it little again. Okay. Um anyway, uh so just because I mean I put up the Christmas tree, I put up the decorations. Nice. You know, I, I was I was living there and and, you know, trying to hold it together while you know, trying to pick the reasons of 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 why it wasn't the condition that it was in. You know, it was trashed by Home Depot. Uh, I can't do anything about that. But if a person, you know, he says, I can't live this way, but it's a mess, and I can't handle that. Latumski gives a strange account of the living arrangements, and it is hard to figure out how he went from being concerned and caring for a partner to murdering a random stranger. I can relate well, to that. Let's, let's get you into a place that isn't a mess. Huh? Well, if we can go, if I, and I don't mean to interrupt, I just was going to go back to, um, so, so if you don't mind, I, I was just curious, so how did you do that? Did you cook them? Did you, um, where did you do that? I mean, on, uh, on the kitchen stove. Um, like with a frying pan? It was, it was the griddle. Um, and, uh, I mean, I, I eat Rocky Mountain oysters anyway. Sure. Um, I have a, a, a carton of them that I had bought, um, and so it's really very simple. You slice them thin, you saute them with some uh, Worcestershire sauce, and once they're once 
after done, you just eat them. Uh, you know, the, the other portions were, were going to be uh, uh, a jerky and the like. I mean, I didn't know that at the time, and so afterwards, uh, that, and, and in fact, I mean, yesterday, maybe it was, well, that's on what day it is now. Um, it is now Saturday morning. But I just ordered a, um, a dehydrator so that, you know, so, so that, you know, I mean, I said not, not knowing, just so that I could uh, continue to process the way and, and, and do it, what he wanted me to do. So you would have, you would have taken more of his body and put it in the dehydrator. Absolutely, absolutely. And where's the dehydrator now? It's on order at Alora. I I didn't order it until after after we talked and 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 he said that that's what he wanted. Um and and so I you know it was it's like well and that's when I started really looking for one to say you know what. This is what he wants, then this is what he wants. It's not mm -hmm. uncommon. Did you guys, I might have missed a conversation when I stepped out, and you had said something about. Latunsky describes cooking and eating bacon leaves one to believe that, if given the opportunity, he would continue to do this with future victims. And I looked at it and, and you know, it's like I, I had done what, what I needed to do and I was, I was, I looked, I could wash this off. Nope, I'm not going to. And at, at that point, you know, I, I went upstairs and I crawled into bed and I just left it. Um, did you ever, um, uh, and did, did you ever wash those sheets then after you laid in the wet on it? No. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I got up the next morning, uh, you know, because I rested, you know, just lightly, I got up and it was, uh, middle of the afternoon when I was supposed to go over on the 25th, I got on the 25th and, and I looked at it and I went, you know what, I'm not. And I left it right on and I put on what clothing I had and I went, I'm 
not going to wash him off. Where did you put the clothing that you have him on you? I have no idea. Um, you know, I, I mean... You never washed it? No. Do you remember what you were wearing? When, I, when, when we were having our finish things? Nothing. What was I wearing? You said, well, you said you had blood. Did you have blood on your clothes or just your body? Naked just body. my body. Just your naked body. Yes. So, at the, at the time of times and at the time that um, you assisted him in, mm -hmm. in passing, um, did you have clothes on at that time? Or were you no. naked? Okay. I was naked. Okay. I had I no clothes. So, there would be blood on the sheets, though, where you could lay down it, if it, it came it, off. It would, be, it would be dry. It, 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 would, it, would be, it would be whatever sloughed off. And I looked at it, and, and, and again, maybe my thinking of saying, you know what, I'm not going to wash this off. I, 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 and, and even when I was, I was talking to him, I, I don't, I don't feel that I did anything wrong. Did you tell anybody else and about this, I, other than us? I, I did, because part of my culture is, is that if you, if you have an honorable death, then you have to tell somebody before you pass three houses. And and so I looked at it, and we've even talked about this, you know, because he, he gave me the name. You and uh, 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 well, he. Would you call he, him? He, he, I, I I actually never used his name. Um, it was only just before he and 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 he looked at it, you know, because he says he says. Wow, you you really planned a lot of this. I said I planned nothing. I said I planned absolutely nothing. I said okay, let's say that the police have a problem with it. I said the police have a problem with it. Then and you know then what? They throw me in jail, or they try to. I said. I guess I'll just have to deal with that. It sounds, said, it sounds honorable. Is this, it, it sounds honorable. Well, but in order to make it honorable in my culture, I did have to tell someone. And even when I talked to him, he says, he says, well, he says, um, he says, just, just call me, call me Kevin Bacon. And I went, okay. I says, if I say that, that, that I, I killed Kevin Bacon. He says, no one's going to believe you. Yeah. I says, I could tell anybody, and no one would believe me. He says, because of my name. I actually texted a, before, before I ever did anything, I went up and I texted a, a friend who was, and I'm going to say, um, uh, what, what's, what's the correct word? Understanding of the situation mm -hmm. because he was a, a he's a he's a judge advocate in New York, and I sent him a text and I said, you know what, I I did this. I says, and I love him. He's my hero. And Ooh, I'm sorry, who's your hero? Uh, I, the first I, 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 no, I, I killed Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon is my hero. Oh, okay. And that's. And who did you send that text to? I, I sent that to. Uh, who was in New York. Um, uh, he, he also, um, you know, like I said, it encounters different people with all kinds of uh, different, different um, needs. And, and like I said, at, at that point, you know, I just texted him and I said, okay, my God, you know, I, I, I don't need to do anything else. Sure. I'm, I, I, I was able to tell someone before I even left the house. And at that point, I went, I'm done. But you know what, I, I did it, I complied, and, and, and then I went to sleep. Latunsky continues to insist that this is what Bacon wanted, but there's no way anyone could possibly believe this to be true. And went, went off to Christmas, and that was when I, I talked to him, and, and you know, like, and it was, it was really strange because working in the, in the health care, was working in nursing homes, and he says, you know, 
He was talking about how undignified, how how horrible sometimes we let people die in that way. How they, they drag out and he actually came to tears, I said I someone who had who had joined us for I, I actually don't even know his last name. I actually got a text from him because he thanked me for the discussion that we had and he wants to you know, just come down and spend some time with me. Um, but uh, uh, for a completely different reason. Uh, uh, no. Uh, but, um, you know, because we didn't, we didn't talk about this. I, I put it completely out of my mind as far as saying, you know what, it's done and now I'm just going to do the things that, uh, that I agreed to do. To, to the, the best of my ability, and and I I hope that I'm able to do that instead of opening up something that he never wanted opened, okay. and and so I just so I don't know if you covered it, but Josh, um, when did you end his suffering? Was he or was he on the ground when you when you did? He was. On the ground, okay. Because he was still in this position, and what I did was I had to move his head in that because because at that point I would. So did you did you lean over him? I leaned over. Can you, can you demonstrate? Pretend his head's against that wall. What did you do? Okay, well tell me what you did. I I saw that it was going longer. I, I took his head and I moved it to the side and this way. So it, it was it was as much as I could in order to and I hope whatever it was it, it it at least initiated another gash that was um, that that I mean, there wasn't like there was the first time, so it was at least more effective. So when you say the spray the first time, what do you mean? That was when I... So the spray on the wall is what you think, what you're referring to as the first time? That was the first one. And then when you did this, when you the did the second one, one it, was, it, was, it was, it was, it was, there was no, it was just, you know, it, it's like, I need to end this as quickly as I can, and that was, and that was, and it was after that that I could tell that he was unconscious, and that was when I started to. do behind closed doors is their own business. This is one of the very rare cases where that doesn't apply. Even if Bacon had expressed a desire for things to end this way, it does not give another person the right to actually go through with it. So you just put those ropes up 
for, we'll call him Kevin. So you just put the ropes up for Kevin Bacon, or had they been there for a couple of weeks before Kevin Bacon? No, no, that the, they had never, the, those ropes had, no, those were all done that night. And in fact, before he uh, got there, that rope, I mean, we, we tailored it for some of the stuff that, that, that we were doing. The, um, the, uh, because the ends were framed, and because I don't like the waist thing, I had just taken, and um, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, or whatever it was, I had recut some of the ends and, and done that, and taken them upstairs, put them on the stove, and, and you know, so you'll, you'll, you'll see with the ropes that they're, they're, they're seared on the ends so that they don't fray because they're a, they're a poly. They're talking about ropes in the basement, though. The ropes that are in the basement, and then, yes. and, and then because I was trying to readjust and get them up so that I could get some of the sand out to get it out to the flower bed, um, is, is that the ropes as you saw them today? That's that, all of that because I've been working with it for the past couple of days to, you know, I mean, whenever I, I can to, to, to try to get everything, I was, I was just trying to get everything right so that I could, you know, just make it happen. And, uh, like I said, that's, but... Where is your van now? Uh, blew a piston rod in his car, and so... Today, I had to, I, I took my van to him, took his rental back to the um, uh, Randy Wife in, uh, out there in London and, and Dutcher, and then I went to, so he has my van, um, that, uh, and then I had, Hank Graff and Durant pick up my truck so that I can get the truck roadworthy. So he has the van on Grand, just off of Grand Blank Road. So, so he said, has your van. Familiar are you with the the leather fetish community? Uh, he's been my alpha's mate for uh, uh, for the past five years. Uh, but when he started to exhibit characteristics of an alpha, uh, it we and that was another reason why he got his own apartment. You don't put two alphas in the same building. So, is your was your partner until, until he showed too much dominance for your liking? Uh, and, and at that point, he got a boy of his own, and I helped him do that. But what do you mean, get a boy? Well, he he has a a, a, man, not a man who helps him out, not a partner. Okay, well, um, I want to say it wrong. That's why I'm asking questions. It, 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 that's why I'm asking questions. Uh. We follow the pack dynamics, and so when uh, when we were together, it was alpha alpha's mate, and then anyone else was either a beta submissive or, or whatnot. We did not have an omega with him exhibiting, and he's older than I am, with him exhibiting dominant characteristics. The detectives try to get a clear picture of Latinsky's relationship dynamics. They need to know if this might be something that has happened before and been covered up, or if anyone else could possibly be involved. To the point that he was able, uh, willing to say, no. It's like, well, that doesn't fly. <laughs> you, see, you see how that works? I play that with my dog. You play that? With my, my dog. You play that. I'm the alpha dog in this house. You're going to do what I say. You're going to do what I say. Not sexually, and, and but it's an alpha dog. You know what I'm saying? I, I hear you. So, when, and then it was, um, it, and, and I'll tell you, it, it came from GMC. Mm -hmm. I, in, in 
in all of my stupidity, last January, I decided to get him some of that stuff. He was it was your own fault. It was my own fault. It, I, I did it. I thought it was my own fault. I got him some, and he went on it for, I think it was about two months. Maybe even it was a month. Hmm. And one day, I, 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 I can't even be in the same bed with you. And I, and, and I, I looked at some of what, was, what was going on. And we, we charted our, our sexual uh, history. But I just look at this. It's a straight line down. I said, the second you went on that, it went from flat to, a, to, to this, and here we are today. I said, you've got to get off of that. He went off of it, and what happened? He went right back up. And then he went to GMC, and he got the generics. And he says, look what it's doing to me. Look what it's doing to us. What it did to us was, you now had an alpha who was older, who was saying, no, I'm in charge. And you had one that had always been in place saying, if you're in charge, you're in charge of something else. Because it ain't going to be to run rough shot over me. So first we separated on two different floors. But then when the house fell apart and there was all other stuff going on and he got sick, that was when I helped him get an apartment. So that we're still together, but we're in two locations. Mm -hmm. And I look at it and I say, you know, we can be there, we can be here. We can do, we can, we can maintain this. Do you know, do you know whose address that is? I don't know. Uh, it's actually...
The encounter with this other man went so differently from the one with Bacon. What was the difference? What made Latinsky comfort one man and kill the other? I love being here, but I've got to go home. I said, let's go home. I said, you know, I said, I'll, I'll be straight with you, though. I was, your life is never going to be what it was. Never. I said, you know, but go home and decorate and put up your own Christmas tree because those lights are going to make your winter a whole lot better. And, you know, I, I dropped him off and, and he, his, his friend came over and, and picked him back up. You know, and it, it's like, I mean, it, I, even, even before I picked him up, I knew that there was something wrong. And I looked at it and, and I think he was afraid that when I saw him with a leg and a half, that I was just going to walk out because so many people would. What kind of fetish yeah. was he wanting to have happen? Oh, I, I invited him over to decorate the Christmas tree. It yeah. wasn't a fetish. It, it, okay. it was just... How did you two meet then? I met him on... Franker? I met him on... Uh, well, I mean, well, I, I think he may also have been Grinder. I have no idea. Okay. You know, I mean, it's just so it, it, it was a different social media, uh, it, and it was something um, where we just we just talked and, and we said, you know, this is um, uh, this, this was a Christmas tree decorating party because I didn't want to decorate that tree alone. Um, in the past, I'd always had someone there, and it was done during Thanksgiving, so that it was a party. But this year. I didn't have anybody to do that with me. So when I reached out and here this guy wanted to, you know, it was agreeable to decorate the Christmas tree. And I happened to be in Lansing. I said, Battle Creek isn't that far. I can just hop down, pick you up, and, and, and we'll, we'll decorate the Christmas tree. And I get there and I, I see a leg and a half. And, and it's like he looked at me, you know, and you could tell the face. It was like, Okay, here it comes. He's going to say, not interested. And instead, I looked at him and I said, load up. And, and you know, so we decorated the Christmas tree together. But, you know, so it's, it's not any, you know, it, it's time spent. It's time spent with, with you know, who knows who, whatever they want. And, you know, um, but... So when you were talking about what Kevin wanted and you were going to potentially use his bones mm -hmm. for tulips, where were you planning on putting his bones, I guess? I don't understand. Talk like, where were you going to plant that stuff? Actually, he wanted me to get and the tulip bulbs off to his family somehow. And, and so one of the things he said was, you know, get them to, um, you know, because I said, if, 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 if I have the ability to get his family from the south side of I-69 to the north side, if that comes about, then they're going to be on the north side somewhere. And if they're on the north side, if tulips show up with a bag here, here's the tulips, and this is what you put on them. So where did you read about that? Like, how did you know that? Like, I, I have no knowledge. Of, like, how do you know that will help us? Helps with uh, uh, with any uh, with with any growth of plants, but tulips in particular, like bone meal. Uh, but the big thing about tulips is that they are the starvation grade plant. So when when you can't get potatoes at the grocery store, you've got the tulips sitting in the ground, and you're the only one who knows where they're at. So the person who plants the tulips and keeps them growing is the person who knows where to dig, because in the wintertime, you don't know where the tulip bed is.
Using Bacon's blood to feed tulips, which he then intended to give to Bacon's family, makes perfect sense in Latunsky's mind. Are there any other secrets hidden in his garden? The detectives will have to check, just to be sure. So that's, you know, that's why um, and the Dutch learned that in, in World War One is that you can't eat the tulip bulbs out of the stores. They're all covered with the herbicides. You have to have a second year crop. You have to have something that has been planted and tended so that it's edible. And, and, and that was something that you know, as we were talking about it, I said, you know, is, is this is this something that he says, yeah, he says, you know, get get some tulip bulbs to to my family in that way. He says, just they don't need to know what it is. They just they just need to know that the tulip bulbs arrived. What caused you to like what 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 was that about? Uh, that was, you know, it was the new moon. I normally do Rocky Mountain Oysters on either the new moon or the full moon. It wasn't until after I, I went upstairs and I looked out and I saw that it was the new moon that, that I looked at and I went, you know what? This is where I'll start. And, and so that was, that, that was, that was not in in particular, you know. He didn't put an, an order, or or a, it was like that. That one was a matter of, you know, what I could thaw some out, or there they are, and and I will start with with what 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 is right there. So, but but that you like I said he, at that point. He was already gone. Mm -hmm. Sure. It was. It was. It was post mortem, and, and and it was just a matter of saying, look. And you said you put worships there on it. I put the Lee and Perrin's worships there, soft on it. Okay. And, and that's just you know I, the, the the griddle is is right there, and I because I mean, that's how I normally eat them. I mean, I, I had a, a friend from Ohio that came up and. Uh, and um, I I tried some of the recipes with with Rocky Mountain oysters and and it, it, they just produced so so much volume that I found that just thin slicing them with with sure. lamb parents was best and I went well if it works for the the standard Rocky Mountain oysters it should work for these and so that leads me to a question that. And, and again, I appreciate your honesty. I can't I, I, make it up. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm looking at. I'm saying, you know, it, it's, that it's just, just what it is. And, and again, that proves to me the type of person you are. The, the honesty and the, you know, the. Oh, like I said, it's not a matter of. Some people would say, okay, and I think some people would say, not okay. But so that's has this has this ever happened before? No. You've never assisted anybody with these type of wishes or, no, I have. or and, eaten, and, eaten and anybody else's or and, any other part of body? No. And, and, and I, I told him that as well. I, I've never done this. Well, you I've never done it. What you just got done saying, though, was that you, that's how you normally eat them. No, no, no. The, the, I have a carton of Rocky Mountain oysters that I purchased of... of Standard, you know, I bought them from Marin Duff, uh, uh, Marin Duff Meat. Rocky, Rocky, Rocky Mountain Oysters are, are, are just oysters, oil. yeah. Are, yeah. And so, it was, at that time, you know, I had learned to just take the Rocky Mountain Oysters, then slice them, put them onto the griddle, put some, uh, Worcester Cider sauce on them, and I figured if it works for those, it should work for these. Uh, so, with these fetishes, how long do you think that you've helped you? Latunsky claims he has never done this before, yet his plan was fairly detailed for someone without any type of experience. He also had no real problem with going through it all, as if bacon was nothing more than livestock to be killed and consumed. As an alpha, and if I say something incorrect, I don't mean disrespect, I'm just trying to put it in my mind. So you as an alpha, you have these other 
men that, that speak out you to help them with their fetishes. How many of them, how many men do you think that you have helped with their fetishes? Ballpark figures. How many? Or for how many years have you been, say, in this, this type of a role? Um, well, prior to about six years ago, I was a submissive. I, I was I was a switch um, uh, or or such. Um, I didn't get thank you letters or notes all the time from people all over the world. So so, um, so people from around the world come to you? Not, not either online uh, or, you know, like I said, it, because I run a very open, um, an open forum so that anybody can contact me and know who I am. Um, What's the forum called? Uh, oh, I, I, I use Facebook. I use, you know, the, the I, use, I use Facebook a lot. What's your name on Facebook? Uh, that's, that's Olegos. Olegos, K. Lucas, and that's Olegos. And in Greek. Um, and uh, that, um, I mean, I do, I do keep it I, I'm going to say it's not open to everybody. Sure. If, if you're a friend, then you can see what's going on. Um, and and so, you know, and, and I'm going to say, here's my life. Here's how I live it. This is, this is what I believe. And uh, if I can help you either... Uh, Either in conversations or in in, um, in 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 real life, then I'm glad to. I've had people come in from Ohio. I've had people come up from Indiana. We go down to Chicago. We've we've been to Washington D.C. Uh, we we've we've seen people all over. So uh, when you have a and, and I'll tell you. In, and and I said the same thing when I was talking to, to Joel yesterday. I I've looked at the gay or fetish community. Do you know how many alpha males there are in the entire state of Michigan? How many? I've only met two. And you're one of them. No, no, you're, no you're one of three then. If 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 I classify myself as one, there are only two others that I've met in the entire state. And that includes your your friend, correct? Ed? Well, I mean he, he he's he's in my pack. He's okay. in my group. He's sure exhibiting alpha characteristics or dominant characteristics of his own, so we had to kind of separate a little. But if you were to talk to him and say What's a leak goes to you? He'd say, he's my alpha. So, uh, so you're you, the leader of a pack. But we use that pack dynamics. Okay. You know, I mean, it's, it's very common for that. And and like I said, I look at it, and, and when we all show up to an event or we get together, yes, the three of us, we mark out different areas. I've met I've met people who are alphas in well, we went to New York City. You know, and and, and I say I toyed with the alpha in New York City just to see how he protected his people. See how he made sure that men that he was looking out for could go out to a social event have a good time, get what they needed, and make it home. And so when I got too close and when one of his group noticed me and paid me a little bit too much of attention, he took his group and he moved them off. And then the person that he had is this little soldier in arms closed up the circle and folded his arms 
and eyeballed me. It's like we moved from there to here because of you. Oh, good to know. There may have been some issues with Otunski's group. If questioned, they may be able to give insight into his state of mind. But that's all a matter of uh, looking at how or what. What, what men need? What's the punishment if you were to intrude? I mean, and, and is there, so that soldier of arms protected that group. What, well, what, what would have happened, in, if, based on your experience, if you were to, if you would have still, if you still would have? Um, well, you know, you, what, what, would, what would be the, what would be, what would, what would be the recourse? I'm not, I'm not going to intrude like that. Yeah, but what, what, hypothetically, what would happen? Well, in all likelihood, the, the, and it was, I, I, I call it circuit, Cir circuit, because they had a shirt with just a circuit on it. Gotcha. With, with that, that was, um, at the very first, he'd address me directly and say, back off. I would hope. Right. If he were a more aggressive type, if he were a little bit more unhanded, then what? He just looks at me and throws a punch. You know what? Uh, that yeah, you know darn well that that happens. Well, it happens, and, and I just I'm not familiar with with, with the, the the fetish culture. So well, I want I want to be sure I understand that. that there are there are plenty of people who swing punches. It happens. Okay. You know, you can, has it happened to you? No, it hasn't. I, I, I've had, I have met people who have swung punches, right. and I know who they are, okay. and I steer clear of them. But no, no one, no one has ever gotten violent with me. What about in your path? Do you have, do you have the same precautions? So you have, you have your, you're the alpha. You have your um, people who go. Who look up to you? I forget no. what you call. What what, what terms? Well, you you got the, you got alpha mates, you got omega. Yes, you've omega. Got beta. Okay, so you so if if another alpha were to kind of get too close to some of your omegas, do you have somebody like a like a soldier at arms as you described? I haven't put together that that rigid or tight of a structure. Um, that's that's something that, that just hasn't it, it hasn't been available to me because and this would go back to the, the trust situation mm -hmm. because the people who have been in my life have been paid by the trust and it has become very apparent that they've been paid in one way or another. Okay. Um, lots of ways to buy someone. And I meant to ask you a long time ago and I forgot and I apologize. Did Kevin pay you for your time? Like when you were, did he? So no. Could you have mentioned you had massages for $200 an hour and then 15 for a day? Look. So, it, so that was nothing? In, 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 this, in this situation, it was. There are no money. Gotcha. Okay. So here's another question I have. And that, that, uh, okay. What was you said you ate a and that you and that you cooked them and you're and you're saying that you've had them before, but then you're relating to oysters. Well, well, have you ever have you ever been requested in the past to do something that you did to Kevin, where they were down? Or they wanted they wanted to end their life. Have you ever assisted? Me? They, no, I I there have been people who have have hinted at it. Okay. There have been people who you know just kind of play around with it a little bit. But I've I've always. You know that I've I've shied away from it for obvious reasons, and and, and that um, that in fact it is you know I said I I texted 
because he was a little bit more, um, I'm going to say involved or contacted with uh, people who, not in the leather fetish world, not in the gay world, but are aggressively seeking that. The detectives continue to question Latunsky about his pack, possibly looking for patterns of behavior in his interactions with other men. Was the incident with Bacon completely random, or has this been escalating over time? Um, and, you know, that I have actually had uh, at, at my house, and, um, you know, some of the stuff that I have there is from him. It was stuff that he had left behind, and um, that, that with that, you know, I, like I said, I, I, I played the, the fetish role with it, but at the end of the day, with, uh, with that, I actually bought him a ticket to because... Bought who? Um, and this is why, um, is, is that as we were playing out the, the fetish role that, you know, that, that he came forward with, um, that he always went back to the thing of, of he was, um, he was really concerned about his mom. And I says, you know what? This is casual. Right? No, 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 not, not. Okay. I says, look, you know, when I really put the screws to you, all you could do was think about your mom. You're in New York. Your mom's in You know what? If you hop on a plane, and you go and spend some time with your mom, I'll buy the ticket. I said, you've got a couple hours to decide. The plane leaves at this time. We drive to Detroit. You hop on the plane and put your money where your mouth is. You're concerned about her? Boom. You can be out there with her. He sat down. He thought about it for a minute. He says, put me on the plane. Down to Detroit we went. Boom. Off he went. And so, you know, you, you, you look at it and you say, Sometimes you put someone into a crisis position and their response is, well, wait a minute. Sometimes you put someone into a crisis position and their response is, I'm ready. And it, that's, that's the, you know, here with someone who had actually also talked to me about, you know, stuff like that, just as in the fetish world. And, you know, it's like the, the end result was, oh, you know what? You need to go see your mom. And your mom does not need to see all of this leather here. She doesn't want to see that. Right. She wants to see I says, you've got nothing on your back. Get the hell out of here and go see her. Spend, spend some time with her and you know, in, in my opinion, you know, that because I come out of industry and I see how precarious our world is right now, having worked in the pathogen industry, and, 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 I, and, I, and I don't mean to say this to scare you, but when little companies like GE couldn't keep power plants that are running in, I don't know, states like Arkansas and North Carolina from blinking, and they've thrown in the towel because they don't know how to fix them. We've gotten to the point where our society is so intricate and so precarious that, in my opinion, I'm looking at it now saying, I don't really see an out that doesn't bring, um, 
bring some of the things that people have been just kind of wondering about for a long time to a reality. And, and that's one of the reasons why I've looked at it and said, I don't think you guys can keep the lights on. Now that may be very fatalistic, but I also look at it and I say, you know, that's reality. And, and, and so I, I'm spending a little bit more time, just as his mom is, uh, uh, learning how to, uh, uh, I'm going to say, live off the land. And, 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 and so I, I said, uh, so that's, that's what, what are, the point. Yeah, what are, what are, I think you made a distinction between the leather fetish world and then is there, are there different fetishes within each kind of world, so leather fetish, or are they all kind of the same, versus studio, or... Because I've looked at the text messages, and I know that you would ask him... Matunsky goes off on a bit of a tangent, but the detectives allow it. So far, it is still hard to understand why his interaction with Bacon went differently than the others he talks about. Yeah, made reference. Is there a difference in what they're seeking? Um... Oh, it's all over the board. Okay, so and I'm going to be really direct with you because you've been honest with us, and I, and I, I, I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to be, I have a feeling this probably wasn't the first person where you helped them end their life. And and maybe I'm wrong, okay. but, it, I mean, and, and I'm not going to be disrespectful. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to sit back and visualize how this all played out. Mm -hmm. And with your demeanor, you're so calm, and and I'm just wondering, is this really the only person that you've that that this has happened with? I'm, I, you're completely wrong. Okay. However, and I'm going to put a however in there. The as as we started the conversation, exactly where is Mark Lutonsky? Now, uh, that is something that, uh, I, I mean, I, I've become very much a realist about it. Things that I remember from my childhood, I remember going out into a field with Lawrence Dean, and with a shovel burying something. When I was this big, in the location that has now been converted into the cemetery that contains the cemetery plot for Mark Lutonsky. Dealing with that reality in a very mature way did and I bury this whatever was left of it at that point? I don't know. How old do you think you were? Well, the last record of Mark Lutonsky was 1972. Yeah, I'm saying the person I'm looking at now, how old were you as a physical person? How old, how old was I when that happened? I was maybe five, six. And how I, Okay. So at the property that you're at now, at the house right now, have you buried anything on the property? Have I buried anything on the property? Um, Let me give you another piece of paper. Okay. If the house is here... Okay, my dog Lad is buried here. Okay, so you buried a dog. I buried a dog. Respectfully. What else have you buried? I have buried a horse. And actually, I didn't bury the horse. When the horse drank the water out of the barn, it went crazy and dropped dead. And um, so the neighbor came over and he buried that Can horse. You horse right there. Can you write horse? Horse. And then dog, dog. Have you buried anything else? 
Because I'm, I'm calling, I'm going to have a cadaver dog go out and just do a property oh. sweep, just, just, just so we cover our bases. You can cover your bases. There are, to my knowledge, there is absolutely nothing there buried. Okay. Have you taken the life of anybody else? I'm speaking to, to my knowledge, no. Okay. What do you mean to you now? No, I, I, I have not taken anybody. I'm telling you, this is the first time I've been, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Because you did it so neat and clean. Did you clean up that room at all after after he was passed and, and after you had hung him by his feet? Did you uh, do a lot of cleaning up? Uh, no. You can put over it. This, this, is, this is the scene. I, I took the sand where the blood was there and I shoveled out one bucket that had bloody sand and I put it on the hyacinths that, and, and actually the whole head that dug when I was planting the hyacinths because I ran out of hyacinths in the fall and so the rest of the hole was already there but there was one hyacinth that was left exposed and I just took that one bucket so of sand so and I put so it right there. Just put sand with sand. And that is from basement. And, that, and, that and it's right there. And it's right there. I mean, it, 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 and, that, and that has the blood on it. And that has the blood on it. So the cadaver dog will find that sand right there. Okay. If it doesn't, the cadaver dog is broken. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's just... It, well, I, I understand what you're saying. So. It's that simple. It, 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 there's, there's no way that that dog won't be able to smell that. Okay. Um, that um, and, and, and that that was um, that that was it. There should be, as like I said, as far as I know, and I I looked at uh, how long have you been at that property? I've been at that property since two thousand and um, one, two thousand, yeah, two thousand and one. I bought it in two. No, I bought it in 2001, and uh, we moved in in 2002. Okay. And, and that was, and, and I said, we, okay. My family, or the people who were running the trust, purchased a girlfriend for me, and the easiest way to take care of somebody is to make them pretend that they love them. And so I did a fake marriage with this caregiver. Come to find out if a DNA test were done, she's Mark Lipinski's first cousin. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you, so, so you kind of married her, her first, Lipinski's first cousin. I married a biological first cousin of Mark Lipinski. Okay. And the only reason that it all fell into plot place was that she looks just like her dad. Just like her father looks nothing like her dad. And because I am second cousins to some of the Latumskis on one side. Mm -hmm. Members of her family, her kids, are my third cousins. Latumski claims that this is his first murder, but it is easy to see why the detectives are skeptical. To do something like this in such a methodical manner and to remain calm is almost unheard of. So they show up in my ancestry DNA. So I'm going through the probate system right now trying to get my third cousins out of my pocketbook. Gotcha. What, so, I mean, you know, what were you wearing when, when, you, when you put the knife in? Nothing. So, so you were, you I was wearing right, nothing. Okay, nothing on. Okay, and then did you shower? You, you I did not shower. Okay. 
I did not shower. Okay. Um, and and uh, I, like I said, I, I, I just put on, um, I, I put on a pair of socks, I put on these boots, um, I, I may have even put on this. I mean, and, and because if I picture Kevin is in some sort of outfit. What was Kev, what did Kevin end up wearing? Um, when, when he was in the back of your van, what did he what did he decide to put on? Oh, uh, he had on. Um, well, he, he he had on. He he looked at, but it wasn't the right size. He wanted to put on the, but it wasn't the right size. Um, but he he put on he put on a well he he put on the the he had and then um uh because he was go because he was going to you know, gotcha. play um and um and then he he had on the 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 and, um uh. So when you're driving him from that parking lot to your house, I, I actually had um, I had him sit on a blanket so that so that, and and then I, I says look I says if somebody if we're driving down the road and someone looks in you know right. that's what I'm trying to get at so I I I had put two blankets into the back of the van for him. Um, so that he could, and then I turned on the heat, so that it was you know plenty warm. Yeah. Um, you know that, um, like I said, I, I just looked at it. And I went, you know, here this way. If I says, I says, look, and 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 as we were looking at the stuff and stuff, I says, I says, if you decide to go with the with, I says, you know, then it has to be removal. I says, I can see it now. We get stopped by the cop. The cop looks in the back. He sees you all got. Uh, this is one thing that I actually said to him. I says, they stop us, and he says, what's that? And I says, don't worry, it's okay, it's consensual. And then the guy, the the, the cop is going to un you, and he's going to say, is this consensual? And you're going to say, yes. I says, if you don't say yes, then you better hope that I never get out of prison. <laughs> and, you know, it's like I laughed about it, but. You know that's all serious because people will say yes, and then later it's like, well, no, or I meant it to be no, or and and you really have to be very careful of when a person is saying no and when they're really saying no. Sure. And when more or less a role playing versus out of that fetish world, they're saying, "Oh, I've had enough." Legitimately, legitimate. I, need, I, need, I, need, I need you. I need you to stop. I need to go back home. And show. So when he's riding and you're driving, he basically essentially is. He's got no nothing covering no. his legs, nothing covering his shirt. He, he, he is. Other than he, he, he's, he's, he's and, and that was that was just part of. Um, Part part of you know just well let me ask you this on the topic of is Kevin the only person that that you've taken the life of um, back in November the troopers came out because there was somebody who hey, ran from your house he was when asked about some of the incidents involving the police Wotelski claims that what he was doing with the men was consensual. Since he also says that about Bacon, there is a better than good chance that those men did not consent either. Um, you know, but I'm saying is, if that was a consensual act, at what point or what caused him to flee leads me to believe that Kevin isn't the only one. Uh, and, and so, and I'm, fair, I, that's what I'm trying to explain. Fair, fair enough. And and this is what I will say. Is that, um, and I don't even remember the, the chap's name, um, is that he was playing along very well until 
uh, he can, he got me. And, um, you know, so, uh, you know, I, I had no problem with that. Uh, and, 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 and I'm saying, uh, you know, by that time, uh, you know, all of the, that was all done. He was, he was freely walking around the house. There was no problem whatsoever. Um, I, I, in fact, had taken my eyes completely off of him. That's like, you know what, like, if, if you want to sit upstairs, go ahead, sit upstairs. Go. Do, do what you want. It was interesting that, uh, that at that point, and, and I don't know exactly what what is going on inside of his head. Um, but he had full ability to get his own clothes. They were right there. But it isn't he, he, he went and he went to one of the most expensive pieces of leather articles that I own. And put that on. Was it like three hundred dollars? Yeah, actually, I think that's closer. To closer, closer to there's three hundred, probably closer to five hundred. But yeah, I think that's. Several, several, I think that's what you told me. Several, several, several hundred dollars. Yeah. And and you know it's like okay, a bar vest, fifty bucks. You know what? A pair of pair of jeans. You know, sixty bucks. No big deal. He shinnies into something worth a couple couple hundred. That was a very nice. But like I said, I'm going to say the nicest piece of, of leather article that I have. And he decides to walk out the door with that. Now, I'm just saying, you know, like I said, uh, but didn't he go there wanting a sexual encounter with you? Yeah. So then why would he freak out when you... Uh, no, it was, it, it was, it was, it, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm like going, you know, and then we went upstairs, and you know, it's like I I went into bed, and 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 that was when he he started. You know, I was I was laying down. You know, but it's like I mean, I, I, this doesn't offend you. I mean, no, it doesn't. It, 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 I'm a grown man. That, okay, and um, and and, I, and I'm looking at it, and it's like, you know, and and he's just wandering around the place. And, and I'm laying there, I'm, I'm dozing off, and it's like, you know, thinking, this is no, you know, no no big deal. I'm just going to take a little na nap right now because I just, and, um, uh, or at least, he, and, and whatever it was. And then all of a sudden, I, I hear the, uh, the, the, the door open. And I went, well, that's kind of weird. And I, I go to the door and I look out. I'm not wearing anything. And um, I, I look out the door, and he's just walking across the yard. I mean, he was in the in that leather. He, he had on uh, my my three hundred dollar leather kilt, and he's walking across the yard. Now, we'd already talked. He knew which neighbor he could go to who doesn't care for me at all. He walked past that house. He walked past the next house. And it's like, I look at him, and then he books it two and a half, three houses down and, and decides to start climbing fences. I'm like, well, you're stupid. What what what's going on here? And it's like, but then it was like, and my personal opinion is that he found the nicest piece of leather where he shimmed into it, and he was going to walk with it. And Latunsky has the sort of charisma that allows him to make it look like it is the other person that is irrational, while he is the level-headed one. This makes him even more dangerous to potential victims. If he got out of sight where I didn't know where he was, boom, he could call somebody and say, look, I, and 
then go home with it. I actually had to go, I, I want my kilt back. And it's like, oh, that's your kilt? Yeah, I want my kilt back. Here are his clothes sitting in a dang pile right in front of the door. Okay. So I look at it and and I'm not past that myself because when I was younger, you know, and that's like, I mean, I I did it myself with little articles. And I was like, well, gee, I don't have this, you know, this 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 porn video. So it's like, you know, in, in, into the bag it went. And, and it's like, so I, I always have to be careful of that because when you've got when you've got items of a fetish nature that are kind of expensive mm -hmm. for something to just disappear like that, no, you know, even even my you know even if all of the stuff with the with the trust and whatnot, I can't get that money. Gotcha. Um, so with these fetishes, do any of these people want it recorded? Do they want it recorded, or do you record them so? I have videos of that I. Okay. They're fantastic men love them. What about Kevin? Um, no, I didn't record it. Uh, I mean, I, I, I he didn't want it. I, it, it didn't, it, it didn't come up. It didn't come up. It didn't come up. So there's no video of you and Kevin together, or you quickly in his life or anything like that. There, it no, there isn't. And um. I mean, as far as I know, there there isn't, and I say that because for um, when and, and I say when first got together with me, he was paid, um, and however it was that that arrangement. Whatever he got, just like the person that I was with before, and I talked to, to because well, I got very close, and and he kind of said, okay, I'm not taking their money anymore, you know. And in some cases, it was, I can see how you're turning the trust money back on, and I'm going to turn it back off on you. Oh, by the way, that doesn't work anymore. Um, I had to move all the capital. How much are you talking? Let's put it this way. The, um... This is round about. More... More than you could ever put a figure on. Okay. It's that big. Alright, so... And, 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 and I don't mean as far as saying... It's, no, I'm, it's, fine. I'm okay. It's, 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 it's a lot of money. It, it's, it's, uh... It, it's enough money so that you could buy someone, buy surveillance, and make sure that everyone around me is up, is is on the payroll okay. easily. And so then, and so that was going on because I, I I talked to him. I said, so whenever I'm talking to this person. And the information that I give them, because because I'm a scientist, I cross check stuff. You know, I cut someone up, and all of a sudden I get a message from this person. Hey, what's going on? I said, so whenever I'm talking to this person, they're relaying the information back to them. He says, yep, basically. I says, there you go, and it linked right back to the people who were pulling the strings in the background. So. Even in some regards, you know, I, I could I could almost guarantee all of my communications, all of the people that I contact, everybody that I run into in one way or another, maybe not through the government, maybe in in ways that are being run through this trust, everything is being recorded. Absolutely. Latunsky believes he is constantly being recorded, which is a sign of paranoia. Surprisingly, he doesn't get as agitated as many people with this belief. Everything. So, 
there's no way for me to run anything in private. Now, when I came to that realization that nothing is private, absolutely nothing, um, and and the um, the, the the fact that that my cell phone communication and and, and, and everything else is is all wrapped up into this because hey they get all of that all of those bills and they get all of the access. So when I talked to the New York bankers and looked at it and said, how do I how, how do I how do I exist in this world? Now that I know that it's there, how do I exist in it? And they say, well, you know what? You, you, you just have to exist in it as best you can. And I was like, so, so nothing in my life is private. Absolutely nothing. So to your extent, that's very liberating to say, you know what? A person can like it. A person can not like it. It doesn't really matter because like it or don't like it, it's still out there. Um, I want to go back over as a summary. You've been in here a long time, John. I know. I am it's tired of that. All right. I want to go back over with Kevin. So you met, so you initially start talking with Kevin on Grinder. Mm -hmm. You guys meet in person on, Jan on the 24th in a parking lot. Mm -hmm. You go to the house. There's sexual activity that occurs in the kitchen and then downstairs. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, uh, there's, uh, that, uh, I mean, I mean, as, as far as I, as far as I would consider it, the scene uh, started, you know, when when he said, "Yes, I'm in. Let's start this." Okay, because it, you know, it, at that point. So, and 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 that's why there were uh, there were so many, and, and that was that was part of that was part of the play. And it was, what was going on, and then it was the discussions afterwards um, that that continued it. So. So you roll put all the people blindfold on, blindfold on, uh, blindfold on, blindfold on, oh. change position, switch to the, switch to the, uh, that is, that is for, uh, flogging usually. Okay. Um, uh, so, you know, I mean, it was, the, you know the purpose of flogging, right? Okay. Well, what it does is it uh, is it brings the it activates the blood vessels in the skin so that the sensations of touch and feel are are heightened because because the nerves are activated. Yes. So so the the you know like that. So it was through an entire you know each. Uh, each of the different movements that went through um, went through a, a different uh, a, a different scenario. Okay. And so then, exactly how did Kevin say what led to Kevin's death? He was telling you specifically what? Well, I, I mean, it was a, it was a. a it was a fairly long conversation. In summary, and, 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 and in summary, I mean, it was. A, it, he was talking about how how many different times, or in different little ways, that he had um, that that because because. He just had. Um, it, it, it's difficult. So yeah, that's, so he's telling you previously, mm -hmm. 
and then it, what you're saying is he asked you to do that for him. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Once again, Latunsky claims that Bacon asked him to do this, and it isn't any more believable than it was the first time. And, and, and it was it was it was part of that, and it was like, well, you know, I mean, it, 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 it's part of it as far as as saying, how do you make sure and you know, make sure that it's all there? It's like, well, I put all of this together, and and he's looking at says, well, with the planning, and it's like, well, n none of this was planned. This this this, you know, it's like. You, you started laying this out, and this is what I put together for, for you to do this. And that's when the conversation turned in that direction, and it was like, well, these, these are the things that, uh, that, that happened. It, it didn't necessarily uh, uh, roll that way. It was just a matter of, and, that's, and then it's like, yeah. So, uh, and then it was a matter of piecing, piecing the different things together. So when he told you that, was that knife already down in the basement, or did you go up and get it? No, I I actually went up and got it, and then brought it down. So no, it was not down there. Okay. Um, I mean, it was it it was um, it, it was it was. Um, it was upstairs. Okay. So you went upstairs, yeah. got it, and then that's when you put the knife, he's laying on the ground. Uh, it, well, you, you say then, it, I mean, this was, um, we had actually talked for, and I can't even put a time, not time on it. I, I, I mean, it was, there, there were lots of pieces of the discussion of what was there. Um, but, you know, like I said, it, 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 at, at the point, I, it's like, well, there's there's different ways. He, he asked me to, to, to go up and, and and get the sword. I, I mean, I do have a sword. It's it's just not sharp. I I'd gotten the sword at the at the Renaissance Festival. Uh, it's never been used. It's just the, the an ornament over the mantle. No big deal. But you know, even with that, I looked at my sister. It's it's not sharp. There's 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 that that's that's wrong. Okay. That, that I I I I can't do that. I I, I can't I, I just I can't do that. So where was the knife when you got it? Was it in your bedroom or was it somewhere else? I think it was. was it? it was in it was in the kitchen. Okay. It was, it was in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Okay. So then you go downstairs. And eventually, you do the knife to the kind of back here on his neck. Yeah, I mean, you, I, I, you said he went unconscious. Yeah, I, I, and, I, I, and, yep. And then, and then you lift up his face. And that was that was that was after when when this didn't happen quick enough, and that was when he, and you still, they'll they'll probably see. It. I mean, they'll, they'll have. I mean, if they look at it, they'll, they'll, that's what they'll find. So you said your vehicle is the um, is the apartment building, right. um, and so and that's where you that's where you think the van is. Uh, that's the sure. That's that Santa Fe. That's the Santa Fe. Now, if you guys take that. Is that is that something that and it, is, is that something that you're you're planning on doing or know. seizing that vehicle? I don't know. You know, I mean, or or is this something? We got to look at it. Okay. So uh, because that's what Kevin wrote in, right? So we have to look at it. Yeah. Okay. If you have to look at it, then then look at it. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So then you, you stab him in the back of the back there, and I was, I was mad. I, I it, it was it was. Latunsky tells the detectives exactly where he stabbed Bacon. Probably, you know, it, 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 it's an apartment. Oh yeah, yeah, I get it. Um, but if it's 
during the day, then you'd probably catch the vehicle at um, corner of uh, and in the lab strip mall. Okay. So then after you put Yeah, it was it was no the leather was all the, the some of the leather was already there. So I you, started trying to use the, the leather in order to um it 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 was on for a while, but then I went and started using the rope just just because it was it was more secure. Um, and and it was that the rope that you see on there is, is I mean what the, the 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 what I was doing at the time I I was doing everything I could to get it where it was. Um, and the purpose and was to, to when you when you strung him or pulled him so he suspended. The purpose was so the blood would blood. go into the ground. Right, so the blood would go into the ground and, and then would be contained um, rather rather than you know because by that time he was already unconscious and and it was just a matter of saying it's it it it, it, it it's done and and that there was there was no more more movement. I mean, it was still warm. Did, was, was that dirt, that ground area, had that been like that for a long time, or did you cut that out after, or did you kind of make that square, you know, so he's, um, was that dirt there previously, or did you recently cut that out? That dirt's always been there. So that, so that, like, that little section has always been there. That, from the time that that was built, that's always been there, because it has the St. Andrew's Cross on it, because the door comes open, and your St. Andrew's Cross is there, and you've got the bar on the top that has the suspension. So the, the, the purpose is not the sand. The purpose is to have a St. Andrew's that has a flogging station there that allows for flogging. Okay. The sand is just there because that's the floor that was that was there, and it's hard to suspend. It's it's hard to affix a San Andrews to the cement wall and have it stable. Mm -hmm. And so when it was originally designed, I looked at it and I went, well, why not why not put a San Andrews that is either there or not there, and that's the X. That is there. Is it on the bottom of the, the doors that comes up like this? Yes. Yeah, yeah. you, 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 you've got a place for a chin rest. And then if you look at it, if you've got different widths that you do as far as where you fix the hands, because when you are, depending upon who you've got, I've had some people who are real, um, who, who are real masochists. And so, uh, I mean, it, it, it's a matter of saying, "Come on, is that all you've got?" And 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 that's that's something that that's like, uh, it their their skin becomes so desensitized that that they're just as tough as nails, and and just look at it, it's like, yeah, that's all I've got. It's like, oh, I can nothing. Mm. And so, you know, I mean, that's. That so the exposed dirt there, why is it exposed dirt there? Why is it exposed dirt there? Because yeah, the St. Andrews needed to be down. And, it, I mean, the, the, the exposed dirt's always been there. Since you own the house? Yeah. Why haven't you covered that up? Why? And to me, I just don't understand that. That's all I'm trying to get. I just don't, I don't follow it. When the basement was poured, they poured the... Uh, Basement, but they didn't pour any cement in that room. Okay. So it was just like in the root cellar that's in the back. You'll you'll actually see that there's a flat wood floor that goes all the way across. In that room, you've got the wood floor that was put in after the cement was put on the top. Because that room was originally.
originally designed for like holes and patio furniture storage. The basement sounds like it was the perfect location for what Latunsky had planned for bacon. It is just another thing that is arranged a bit too neatly to allow the detectives to believe that this is his first murder. Yeah, you built the hardwood, the wood floor over top of dirt. Yeah, the, the, the dirt was always there. When 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 uh, this is the Michigan basement floor. Right, right, right. When Kevin was laying here like this, yeah. was that door open or closed? Was it always open? Or? Well, it, it got open when um, when he went out when he went out of the vlogging. You know, that's when that got open. Which is part of the fetish. Which is part of the fetish. prior to yes. you know, oh, that was that was prior that was that was, that was prior to so then was that, that so when he was laying down. here and you, you put the knife in his neck, that door was still that was still stayed open. That, yeah, from the from the point where the portion of the scene where he um I mean it's, it's, yeah. you know, right. it was like, hey, you know, it's like you're you're trying this, this is yeah. um that um that that you know, that was that was open. Okay. And so it you know, because it was it was open it just it just stayed open at that point. So, you know, that's that's where that came from. You said there's nobody else that, that you've done this to as far as mm -hmm. where where their life has ended down there. No. Nope. Is that the truth? Have you you've been truthful so far? It's the truth. Yeah, it's not the truth. It, it oh, is, whoever you want to claim is your God. It, it is the truth. I, I you know, it, I can't, I, I can't tell a lot of the, for anything. It, it is the truth. I have, I have never done this. I've never done this. This is um, oh, another question that that came to mind. Um, actually, the guy, one of our partners that's out there at the house, had asked. Um, in the kitchen on the stove, there's a couple different pans. Mm -hmm. There's one that's got some vegetables, like potatoes and stuff, already in it. Yeah. And there's another one that I think might be clean or doesn't have anything in it. Do you remember which pan you would have used to? I think that's the griddle. The flat, the flat one. The flat, flat one. The, the flat so I don't remember because I haven't been out there. Is is one more rounded and one's flat? Well, the, the, I, so the I think it was between the two. I, I use cast iron. Okay. Okay. And um, you know, so the um, I, I mean, do you remember? You don't remember which one? Uh, or I mean, it was it was whatever whatever. I I don't know. Um. I mean, I, I I put it onto a flat surface. Okay. That 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 was it. I put it on a flat surface. Uh, so, you know, I mean, like I said, whether 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 you are, and 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 even the way you're asking that question, that's like I look at it and I say, maybe you're being square with me. Maybe you look at it and you say, you know what, this is all in the up and up. Maybe you're just playing me. Well, I don't know. know. I, 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 I'm, I'm just trying to get that. We're just trying to get Because we're here and it's there and we're trying to get a mental picture. And you, listen, you've been completely honest with us and we appreciate that. And I'm a completely honest person with you. I'm not I'm not blowing any smoke, nothing. Okay. I, I look at it and, you know, even when they showed up, that, and, you know, I mean, it, obviously the name that he'd used, and I didn't know whether it was his real name, a fake name, or, or, or what, because right. that's so common. Uh, particularly with anyone in the fetish arena, and uh, sometimes you know. Oh, so the name Kevin Bacon is a common name used by? No, it's not. It's not a common name used by by people, but it's common for people to give names other than their own. I follow. And so, you know, even when they showed up, uh, it's like they said, "Well, you know, it's like, it's like you can come in. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to hide anything." Latunsky didn't even know if Bacon was using his real name, which points to this being a crime of opportunity rather than a personal motive. Uh, you know, quite frankly, my, my life was an open book anyway. Um, you know, and, and, and so 
I, I look at it and I say, um, it, it is what it is. Come on in. You want to see something? Go ahead and see it. I, I, I don't care. Um, because, you know, it, it, it is what it is. And, and even when in dealing with the stuff for the, when I say crap, for the, the probate stuff, I was in there with a guy who was a, a petty thief who broke into houses. Hmm. Well, now, which probate court here in Shalabasi? Here in Shalabasi, they're, they're dragging me through. And, and like I said, it's, okay. it, it's, it's a sham because you don't marry first cousins. So you look at it and you say, on paper, the person that is Mark Lutonsky that she married is a first cousin. Yeah. In reality, we're third cousins. But when they want it to be reality, they pretend that I have black hair and brown eyes. <laughs> when they want it to be on paper, they say, but on paper it says, you're no relation. Well, why are we toggling between reality and fantasy to your discretion? Why can't we toggle between reality and fantasy to my discretion? Because then the picture looks completely different. And and I look at it and I say, you know what? Okay, fine. I went to a lawyer. They need paperwork filed. I said, this is what the paperwork says. I don't know whether or not uh, uh, a first cousin can be married but if you use this birth certificate and this DNA sample, they're first cousins. Gotcha. And and if you decide to ignore one or the other, why are we sitting here in a divorce court when you're talking about marrying first cousins that are Latonskis? So at the house, it's just you that live there, though, right? Right now, it's just me that's living there. Okay. Me and well, Athena and I. Is there anything um, else that we should know about mm -hmm. Athena? The dog. Oh, sorry, I missed the dog. The, the, the most important part. The most important part. Um, but you, but you buried, you buried a different dog in the backyard yeah. as well as a horse that drank water that causes the yeah. The, the the neighbor buried the horse in the back corner. Uh, the the dog is buried back just past the uh, the backyard. And then, well, you know, and then and you put the sand kind the, of in the, the high the, fence. So you put the, the, the sand. The, the, the sand is in the front of the garden that is just west of the house, and it's not it's not buried. It's just there. Right. It's, well, it's, 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 and, and it's in a spot that's like that wide by that wide. It's going to be just right there. It's, 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 I just took it and I'm like, here. It's on the highest of the bed. Um, and and that, and that, you know, that was just my, my process of, of starting to clean up. And, and, and well, I'm, no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No. I, I apologize. What if if no one had shown up at the house, and maybe you already told us that story, remember? What were you going to do with his body? Uh, his his in his internals were going to go out back, and I was going to put the peach pits in them, uh, and then the um, the the rest of them I have uh, the. Uh, uh, chestnuts, chestnut that are in the refrigerator, and I had been meaning to plant them before, but really never had anything that you know to to grow them with. I was going to drop the chestnuts into a portion of them. There's the pile of mulch out back. I was just going to cover them with mulch. You were going to cover the bones with mulch? No, not the, not the bones. I was just going to take the the internal gut portions. And, and get rid of it, um, so that they were they were each growing things. The uh, the muscle portion was going to go into the dehydrator that I purchased after, um, at, at, you know, yesterday or to, it could be delivered on Monday, um, because that was you know that came out of the discussion, so I didn't have anything you know planned for it at that point. And um, and then um, the the I was just going to uh, you know crush up the bones into bone meal 
And then see if, you know, we seasoning. Can see, see, see seasoning. If, what? Seasoning, is that what you said? No, bring, bring them up. Bring them up. In a bone meal. And, um, and take the bone meal and pair them with, with tulip bulbs and, and figure out some way to, you know, just have them appear somewhere. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like... In memory or other of them. Uh, just how, however, however it worked. You know, if it's if it's a matter of, of getting it to happen, so that and putting the muscle to, the muscle from the body into the and, de- and dehydrator into the dehydrator would have to to eat like jerky, basically yeah, okay. Dur- jerky it up and uh, that's you know, I thought I know a lot of people don't understand that, but you know it's like I looked at it and uh, you know we're open to a lot of things and, and I know say mm-hmm. it's it's. It is, it is what it is. It's a matter of just, just making, making it happen. So. We're going to take a quick break and we'll get right back with you. Do you need a bottle of water in it? I love water. The detectives take a short break, and after all of the details they have been given, they probably need it. It is difficult to hear such details and try to remain visibly calm, especially for prolonged periods of time. is going to be photographed and checked for any wounds he may have gotten during a struggle with Bacon. Do that. Uh, I, 
I'm going with alien pictures and and, um, and and pictures and then um and in this form here is just a consent. Um, it says I will print your name there. Willingly give my permission or consent for the authorized law enforcement officials. What or name? What, what name do you want? Of the Michigan State Police and their designee. Well, you can use the name that you used earlier. And that that way it is. Tunsky has no problem with verifying that everything is told him is the truth, at least the truth as he sees it. Date and time. So today, September 28th, uh, date 28th of December, and it's 8:55. Uh, 2019, and it is 8:55. And your signature goes there. Um, I know the social security number of the stolen identity. Can you, you want to put that one down? Uh, no. There is no social security number for Edgar okay. Thomas Hill because given the fact that my mother was not a U.S. citizen and all of her family is in Canada, as I talked with my cousins who were in Canada, um, there is no way that I could have been born 
in the United States right. without a record. No problem. So, so I think the bottom, though the social security number is there, it's for someone who is okay. who, not who, who isn't me. They're going to find that when they do their DNA, the not me. And so it, as crazy as that is. DNA swabs have been taken. Even though Latunsky is admitted to killing Bacon, it is always best if there is plenty of evidence to back up a confession. Someone off would be 
a, a sign of disrespect. Sure. Right. And, and, and so, something like that. Is this? Or with what? What you need? Oh, you need specifically that? I was just looking at that mark in your hand. I don't know if it was a. I thought it was red. Mm, no, no, I, I don't. It is unlikely that Latunsky will have any wounds. Bacon was in a vulnerable position and did not get a chance to fight back if Latunsky's description is in any way accurate.
until, uh, there, so we can figure out exactly what the prosecutor wants to do. All right. Okay. So, so, so with that, a uniform trooper will take you over to the Shiawassee County Jail. You, you know that the prosecuting attorney here doesn't like. I think she doesn't like me. Do you, you, can you take that water? We'll put you um, in the cell over here, and then um. Lutonsky is taken from the room to be prepared for his trip to the jail. Mark David Latunsky's mental competency to stand trial was called into question several times, and he underwent multiple evaluations, which delayed his trial. From the moment of his arrest and all the way through his trial, Latunsky admitted his guilt. Mark David Latunsky pleaded guilty to homicide, open murder, and disinterment, and mutilation during a plea hearing. He was sentenced to life in prison without possibility of parole.